to eat you up. Look how cute this is. She just came to my door. She is a new gift that I guess was a late Easter present from my grandmother. And she shipped it to me and I opened the box and Teddy was really excited. I think he thought it was his, but it's not. She is mine. She is a little goat lamb with a monkey looking face. And my grandmother told me that she saw it and thought of me. Not sure exactly what that means, if this is what she thinks of, but I guess I kind of see the resemblance. Teddy Bear, do you want it? There we go. So she's gonna be our mascot for today's video and just hang out back there. So say hello, we should name her. Leave a comment below letting me know what her name should be. That will be very exciting. Okay, so I was getting ready this morning and I looked at my phone and realized the date. It is the end of April, so I was like, yay, I can do an April favorites video. I went a really long time without doing a favorites video just because I did them like every single month for a span of time and then I kind of stopped because I felt like they were getting really repetitive and now I've started back up again and I feel like I'm doing them every single month and I wanted to know, do you guys enjoy it? I do different products in every one so I feel like they are different but I can't decide if I want to do it every month or maybe every two or three months so make sure you also leave that in the comment. I'm just asking you guys to comment a lot on this video. Just go say hi in a comment below. Hello. I will say hi back to you if I see it. Anyways, okay, so yes, I was excited because it is the end of April, so I can tell you my favorite beauty products that I've been using for the month of April, and I also want to talk about some other non-beauty things in this video, like my favorite TV show and song and stuff like that, just to switch it up a little bit. My favorite stuffed animal, my favorite dog. Who, who could that be, teddy bear? So the first product that I've been loving is this Amore or Amor or Amore, Amore Pacific, I can't pronounce it obviously, Botanical Exfoliator. It's a treatment enzyme peel and you're supposed to use this two to three times a week. I've been using it about four because I get in the shower and I'm like, no, I haven't used it that many times just because it's really fun for me to use. It's like a little science experiment in and of itself every time I use it. So basically, I keep this in my shower just because my hands are already wet. I'm already kind of like, you know, all soaked up anyway. So why don't I go ahead and wash my face and exfoliate my face? So what you do is it has a self-measuring device in it. So you just tip it over and you pour until it stops pouring. Basically, you're not going to over pour. It gives you the perfect dosage of what you want. And it comes out and it's like this fine sand powder consistency and you mix it with a little bit of water. Typically I go ahead and just use the water that's on my hands and then if I need to add a little bit I can because it's better to add than have too much and it gets super runny and then it's you know slipping everywhere and stuff like that. Anyways, so you mix it with a little bit of water and it makes a milky consistency and then you massage it onto your skin for 30 seconds and then rinse it off. And the powder completely dissolves, so it doesn't have any sort of actual um, like abrasive exfoliant. It's just a chemical exfoliant. So you wanna make sure you avoid your eyes, obviously, but I have been obsessed with this and I can totally tell a difference and I'm actually going to get one of these for my mom. So mom, if you're watching this video, you weren't supposed to watch this video. I'll tell her before I upload this video that she's not allowed to watch it because I'm going to send her this for Mother's Day along with some flowers, you know, just gotta get some flowers up in there. So the next thing, I don't know if I should be proud of myself that this is one of my favorites or a little bit, um, not concerned, but just I'm a little too in love with it for my own good and I feel like I might turn into a Santa Fe corn stick because if you guys remember in my nature box, it was either last month or the month before, I got the Santa Fe corn sticks and so for the month of April, I actually for the first time in my nature box did where I can pick my own treats. Typically I just do surprise me because I like to get just a mixture of what they think their favorite treats are. but. For this month, I was like, you know what? I really enjoyed those. So I got three bags of the Santa Fe corn sticks and I am very happy about it because when I'm sitting there watching TV, for those of you who don't know, I'll tell you really quickly about Nature Box just because I know everyone doesn't know about it. It's basically a subscription service where you can get five, 10, or 20 bags delivered to you every month and you can either do Surprise Me, which is what I typically do, and they send you just an assortment of their best snacks or you can pick your own and you go online. It's really you can like add it to your cart and stuff and then it comes to your door 
store and it's basically guilt-free snacking. So you can feel like if you get hungry, you know, right around three o'clock, that's kind of my time when I'm like, I either need a nap or I need a snack. And I typically always go for a snack and then sometimes take a nap too. But they have these snacks that are perfect because you don't feel guilty snacking on. It actually says on the back of their pack packaging at Nature Box, we believe snacking can be part of a well-balanced lifestyle, which is why we deliver a world of carefully sourced and nutritious approved foods right to your door. Made from the most wholesome ingredients with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors, we make snacking healthy, delicious, and easy. So when I read their mission originally, I was like, I want that. I want snacking to be a part of my daily lifestyle all the time. So um, the reason that I'm a little bit worried about it is I have been eating so much of these. I'll sit down to watch a movie and I'm like, oh, gotta get my Santa Fe corn sticks. I'm obsessed with these. If you guys do sign up for Nature Box, make sure you get this because it is so freaking delicious and I'm just obsessed with it. And if you've watched any of my other Nature Box videos, you know that I have a code. You can go to naturebox.com slash Blair and receive 50% off your first Nature Box order. So I thought that was really exciting and I know I've told you guys that code before, but in case any of you are new to this video, then yes, make sure you get this one at nature.com slash Blair and you can be a Santa Fe corn stick with me. We can turn into corn sticks together. I've actually only used two times so far, but I thought I really, really liked it, so I would go ahead and put it in this video. So this was actually a birthday gift from my friend Kristen, and the top says, go be lovely. How cute is that in the direction? So basically it says, uh, it's from Anthropology and it is fine bath salts, Bali mango, and lily antique wood. It's called Thai lily. It says, leave it all behind. Ease into a warm bath filled with this European sea salt, Epsom salt, and a touch of avocado oil and vitamin E to moisturize your skin and relax your mind. Go be lovely. The first time I read that, I was like, okay, I will. Thank you for that. I'm gonna go be lovely right now. And I paddled over to my bathtub and used it. What I like about this is the um, bath salts are actually super, super fine. So you know how when you put bath salts into your bath and then you get in and you sit there and stuff, a lot of times, if they're the thicker bath salts, they kind of are a little bit painful. Bye, Teddy. He just decided he didn't want to be a part of this discussion. Um, you know how when you sit on the little bath salts, they're still kind of like a little rocky and they kind of like push into like your butt and the back of your legs and stuff. Like I don't enjoy that at all. So I really like that this is a very quick dissolving and very fine granulated bath salt because otherwise they just kind of like prick into the back of your legs and your butt and stuff like that and I'm just it, you know it's it's just not one of those things that I get excited about um, being pained in the butt but moving on thank you Kristen I love to go be lovely the next product that I've been loving is by Bumble and Bumble which is one of my favorite hair brands to begin with and it is called the Preta powder and it's equal parts dry shampoo style extender and volume in a pinch so it comes out as this powder it just has like kind of a little opening and you pour it either into your hands and massage it onto your scalp or what I like to do is actually lift up my roots and go ahead and sprinkle it on there. Now I have dark hair so typically I have to be careful and use an invisible dry shampoo because otherwise it will leave like little either white flecks or something like that but this one is really great. You don't see anything afterwards and it literally makes my second day or third day hair when it's just kind of like flat and kind of stuck to my scalp from sleeping on it but I don't want to wash it again. Again, it's just that pick-me-up that everyone needs so I actually am thinking about getting another one of these this is funny but thinking about getting another one of these to keep in my purse because this one obviously I keep in my bathroom but sometimes when I'm out towards the end of the day I realize like if I walk into the bathroom and I look in the mirror I'm like wow you look wrecked girl like you need something up in here so I'll kind of like massage my scalp just to see if I can reactivate any product that's in there or just kind of like get my hair to stop sticking to my scalp and stuff but if I had this I would be so excited. The next product I have is by Ola Kendrickson and it is the Nurture Me Cleansing Cloths Makeup Removing. It says removes all trace of waterproof makeup and these smell so good. 
Oh my goodness, so I typically don't use a makeup removing wipe. I'm someone that I like to go ahead and use a real, you know, full on makeup remover and then cleanse my skin and tone and moisturize and do all that random stuff. But there are some nights that I come home and I'm just like, you know what, like I don't feel like washing my face right now. Like I just wanna go to bed. But if I keep these in my nightstand, then I actually will use them because it's basically use this or don't use anything at all. So I'll be in my bed and I'll be like, okay, just reach over and I play a game with myself. I'm like, just do it and you'll sleep better. So that's how I kind of get myself to do it. But that doesn't happen that often, but when it does, I'm really thankful I have these and these smell so amazing. Teddy always thinks they're like treats or something and runs over to me. What I can say about these is I don't think that one for your typical makeup remover is going to get all of your makeup off. It says removes all traces of waterproof makeup. I do feel like I have to work a little bit at like my mascara because I kind of like to let it soak in just a little bit so that I'm not like actually rubbing, you know, viciously at my eyelashes because I don't want them to fall out or anything like that. So I like to like hold it on there and let it sit for a little while, but I still feel like maybe I just wear too much makeup. Maybe I typically just have a lot of makeup on, but one wipe is not typically enough for me. I have to use two. So that's something to kind of keep in the back of your mind. If you do wear a lot of makeup, you may have to use two. So at that point, you know, is it a good idea? I still like them. I am going to repurchase them. They smell so good that it makes me love them and they do get rid of all the makeup. It just sometimes takes two wipes. So loving this right here. Ugh smells so good. So I have one more actual product and then I will go into my favorite like TV shows and music and stuff like that. So this is something that I actually got on the cruise. So I got it at the very beginning of April and it is the Clinique All About Eyes Serum and it's basically one of those little roller balls that has the eye serum in it. You know Garnier has them and stuff like that. So I saw at the duty free shop that they had this and I was like you know I do enjoy Clinique skincare. I do really like Clinique skincare. So I was like, I love my Garnier one. I've gone through like three tubes of it. I use it every single day. And I was like, why don't I try the Clinique one? You know, just go a step up and see what I think about it. And I am obsessed with it. I definitely would recommend it. And I think it's really great. It definitely has lightened up under my eyes. And it also takes away a lot of the puffiness because it's cooling. So I just feel like when I apply it in the mornings, it just like, sinks. It's just like, ooh, you know, like it just, it just sinks into my skin. And then I put my eye cream over top of it. So like I said, I bought this when I was on the cruise, but it actually came with two. So I have not opened this one and I'm giving it to one of you guys. I'm not going to put like giveaway in the title of this video or anything. It's just going to strictly be for those of you who are still sticking around and watching the video. I wanted to give this to one of you. So all you have to do is comment below and let me know what I should name my little lamb sheep monkey doll. So yes, uh, my little stuffed animal, what should I name it? And you will automatically be entered to win this. Make sure you're subscribed to me and go ahead and thumbs up the video as well. And then I'll let you guys know in a week who wins this second one. It definitely is very fun. It says it's a deep puffing eye massage and it definitely is. So now that are, that is all that are, that is all the products that I have. But this month, my favorite TV shows have definitely been a star crossed and I got obsessed and hooked on this because one of my good friends Angela who you guys actually have seen in my Valentine's Day video I had a link to her channel below because she does really great videos but her husband is actually the main guy character on Starcrossed. So, you know, I went over and we did like a little viewing party and I was just hooked to the pilot. I was like, this is a really good episode. Anyways, now there have been, I think nine or 10 episodes, nine, 10, I don't know. I think nine or 10 episodes, one of the two that have come out and they have been so good and I watched yesterday's and it was just amazing and I really want to know what's happening so that's my favorite TV show and then also crisis which this happens in like the first 10 minutes of the first episode so I'm not really spoiling anything right now but just so you know what the show is about crisis it is basically about these kids in Washington DC that are all the kids of really high up people in DC like the president's kid the chief of staff's child stuff like that they all go to the same school and they're going on a field trip and they get kidnapped. So that's what the show's about and getting them back and ransom and all that stuff. And it is so good, so good. So I've watched all of those that have come out so far and I can't wait to watch the new ones. So yeah, those are my two favorite. And then my favorite song of the month has been Magic by Coldplay. It just has, it just kind of reminds me of 
my birthday and the cruise and stuff because I was playing it nonstop while I was getting ready because I guess it was just like in my recent song cue so I just kind of kept picking it and playing it and so now when I listen to it it just takes me back to that time which is a time that I will never forget. We, I had my friends and family there and it was so much fun just to be able to explore different parts of the world and be on a cruise. I mean it was just amazing. So that was really really exciting and that song just kind of takes me back. So these are my monthly favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to see your April favorites. If you want to film a video of your just favorite products for this month, send it to me on Twitter. I would love to see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.